Welcome to Geneva and the Oasis Forum 2022. With me is Yvette Ramos. Yvette is the president of Swiss Engineering Geneva and also president of WomanVi. And you can tell me what WomanVi is. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity yeah, to the Oasis to welcome us. Uh, WomanVi is a very unique NGO that was created uh, four years ago. Uh, actually, it was co-founded by uh, women and men that work together and are engineers, scientists, etc. They work together in the uh, activities that are aligned with the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, and also aligned with the WISIS action lines because we've been, myself and my friends, colleagues around the world, have been involved since many years now in the WISIS process. So we thought that we need to do that. Wonderful. And tell me about gender trendsetters. Yes, actually, that's a unique uh, and very new uh, initiative. Uh, the champion uh, is, of course, the ITUSG, <laughs> Secretary General. But I must recognize that Gitangali Sa, uh, who is the coordinator of the, that whole the wonderful process, has been pushing so many years now for uh, having a lot of women representation at all levels, that is in the, in the high level summits, in the uh, workshops, the sessions that we do organize, in fact, and we are pushing for for many years now. So the gender trendsetters, we are a group, in fact, that were nominated this year, uh, around 15 people, men and women as well, coming from many countries. And we are very glad to have that mission of uh, representing uh, this specific and unique uh, issue that is how to develop uh, a truly mixed uh, representation uh, into the ICT's world, in fact. And what are the key challenges uh, around that? Of course, key <laughs> challenges is always, as you may know, that there is the glass sailing. We we are many women. I mean, we uh, want to have uh, uh, good careers in our professional lives. We want to have the same representation and same opportunities when we are young uh, engineers and scientists as uh, the men have. So uh, I think that's uh, some of the the policy that exists today, and it has been a few years that uh, many policies exist, now we have to go to action. And really, uh, either in the private sector or the public sector, we need to emphasize that there is a gap in, in engineering, in science, in technology. So why don't we take over this opportunity to ask women to join uh, this society of uh, engineers working in ICTs and uh, for a better world, yes? <laughs> so representation and positive action. Yes, exactly. Yvette Ramos, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.